Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel, hi my name is Mimi. In this video I will be talking with you guys about hair porosity. When it comes to hair care, hair porosity is a pretty big and important stuff that you need to know about because many times it happens that a lot of people ask me that they have a certain kind of hair and no matter how much they try to take care of their hair, no matter whatever oil, uh, shampoo, conditioner they use, their hair still turn out to be dry, brittle and lifeless. So to solve that problem, first you'll have to know about hair porosity and then you'll have to figure out what kind of hair porosity do you have and then you'll have to pick and use hair products according to your hair porosity. Now if you guys want to know more about hair porosity then let's quickly begin. Now the first thing is what is hair porosity? Now porosity means your hair's ability to absorb moisture. Now when it comes to hair porosity, there can be three kind of hair porosities, low hair porosity, medium or normal hair porosity and high hair porosity. So for low hair porosity, the cuticles of your hair are tightly seated on top of each other and there is hardly any gap between them so any product can hardly get through them. When it comes to medium or normal hair porosity, the cuticles are somewhat open so some products can get through and when it comes to high hair porosity, the cuticles are widely open so as much easily as moisture can get in, that much easily the moisture gets out. So uh, the next thing that will come to your mind is what kind of hair porosity do I have? To know what kind to of hair porosity there are you some have, simple ways some which water I'm going to show you now. And drop a small section of your hair in that water. If your hair floats on the surface of the water, you have low hair porosity. If the hair goes to the middle of the water, then you have medium. And if the hair goes all the way to the bottom of the cup, then you have high hair porosity. You might need to check back after a one hour half an hour to one hour to see where the uh, hair water has gone also you can identify your hair porosity when you are in the shower like when the shower is on observe your hair if you see a lot of water bubbles sitting on top of your hair strands then you have low porosity hair because low porosity hair hardly lets water get through but if your hair gets sticking wet within a couple of minutes you step in the shower then you have high porosity hair because water can easily get through high porosity hair and when you step out of the shower don't rinse your hair with any towel or t-shirt or anything just let your hair be and let it dry on its own if your hair takes like several hours to get dry regardless of the length of your hair then you have low porosity hair but if your hair gets dry just within a few minutes uh, then you have high porosity hair. So now let's talk about low porosity hair. Low porosity hair looks all shiny and silky as the cuticles are tightly seated on top of each other. But the main problems with hair, low porosity hair is that they hardly let any product get through those tight hair cuticles. So the products get built up. So when you are uh, buying hair products for your low porosity hair, you need to keep those problems in mind. So what kind of hair products should you use for your low porosity hair? Low porosity hair likes uh, lightweight oils, lightweight oils like grapeseed oil, olive oil, almond oil, low, uh, lightweight coconut oil. Now I'm not talking about your scalp, I'm talking about the lens of your hair. If you have low porosity hair, use these oils on the lens of your hair and try to apply heat on your hair because heat can penetrate these oils deep into your hair strands so you can either heat the oils up before you apply them on your hair or you can uh, wrap your hair up after you apply the oils and you can put on a shower cap so that the heat coming out of your scalp will get trapped inside and the heat can penetrate those oils deep inside your hair 
so for shampoo go for a clarifying shampoo for your low porosity hair can because low porosity hair can easily get build up and you need to make sure you are getting rid of all those build up whenever you are washing your hair so for the length of your hair if you have low porosity hair go for a clarifying shampoo and um, whenever you are picking up a conditioner or a hair mask especially the protein hair mask um, look for ingredients like hydrolyzed protein silk protein and stuff because these proteins only get through your low porosity hair others don't that is the reason why i tried the palmas coconut oil protein hair mask a few days back if you guys remember if you haven't already seen the video yet i'll leave the link in the description box down below and also at the end of this video so you guys can check because that had um silk protein hydrolyzed protein and keratin protein which is really good for your low porosity hair and those proteins can get through the cuticles of your um, low porosity hair and also my favorite conditioner at the moment that resume keratin smooth with arganal has hydrolyzed protein in it which is also good for your hair and that is the reason why it makes my hair super soft and manageable whenever i use it so now let's move on to high porosity hair the porosity of our hair is determined by our genes but um, excess sun exposure or excess use of heat or chemical colors can also change your hair porosity uh, if you have high porosity hair the main problem with high porosity hair is to retain the moisture within your hair like when you apply moisture or moisturizing hair products on your high porosity hair it can easily get through your uh, the hair cuticles but that much easily it gets out of the hair so the real challenge here is to retain the moisture within your hair and if you have high porosity hair you will feel that uh, your hair gets really dry and brittle like if you wash and if you conditioned or used a hair mask today it will last only one to two days and after that uh, it's back to being dry and brittle so if you have high porosity hair you need to constantly moisturize your hair now what kind of product should you should you use for your high porosity hair high porosity hair really likes slippery hair products like some pro hair products are really thick and heavy and some are lightweight and slippery try to incorporate those slippery kind of hair products in your hair regime and also uh, aloe vera is really great for high porosity hair as aloe vera has great moisturizing properties so if you have access to raw aloe vera then definitely include it in your hair regime or you can also uh, use some hair product that contains aloe vera now um, for high porosity hair as i mentioned you need to constantly moisturize your hair and um, as coconut oil is uh, really easily available and also cheap in india i would suggest go for coconut oil you need to apply coconut oil or some other moisturizing oil to your high porosity hair at least two to three times a week if you still feel that then that your hair is still dry then moisturize your hair every other day and also try to do a protein treatment or protein hair mask once every month because protein hair masks can really smooth out you those open hair cuticles and protein hair masks are really great for your high porosity hair and if you want to moisturize your hair with something other than coconut oil then you can definitely go for aloe vera honey or shea butter they also have great moisturizing benefits for shampoo go for a moisturizing shampoo for your high porosity hair you can still use a clarifying shampoo once or twice every month as high porosity hair doesn't get that much product build up as low porosity hair and for conditioner and hair mask go for towns like shea butter cocoa butter silk amino acid which can uh, intensely moisturize or deep condition your hair and another thing which is really important for high porosity hair is as soon as you step out of the shower let's say you did a coconut oil hair mask 
you left it overnight and in the morning you washed it off with your shampoo and conditioner as soon as you step out of the shower just squeeze the water out of your hair and immediately apply a leave-in treatment or leave-in conditioner to your hair which can uh, seal the moisture in your hair because uh, you need to seal the moisture which you have apply to your hair so that it stays within your hair and your hair stays moisturized for longer hours so definitely um, apply a leave-in hair treatment or leave-in conditioner to your hair so that was all about hair porosity now i can't guarantee that everyone will agree with me as each one of us have different kind of hair which uh, responds to different kind of hair products what i could do is to give you the general information about hair porosity and what to do and what not to do for low and high porosity hair now once you figure out what kind of hair porosity you have you can then search and uh, figure out what kind of hair product works for you and what does not so that was it for this video give this video a thumbs up if you find this video helpful and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and um, i'll talk to you guys later in my next video bye